Hello and welcome back to the Grimforge. This little guy following me again. It just noticed exactly where I was, despite the fact that it really shouldn't have been able to see me. Despite me being down here, it just came back and found me. So I don't know how it knows exactly where I am at all times, but... If I go up, it's going to turn around and follow me again, despite the fact that it shouldn't be able to know exactly where I am. Maybe not. It did not. Good. But, I'm back here. I learned since last time... That apparently... I'm just going to pause this so it doesn't find me necessarily. The... Staff of Arcane Blessing. The phrasing here is... Bless grants an additional 1d4 to saving throw. That reads as though Mistress, when you have Mistress Blessing, the Bless effect grants an additional bonus. But, that's not what it, how it works. It probably should, based on how it's phrased. But, I checked earlier today, which I guess was before Patch 2 released, but Patch 2 released, I don't think they changed it because I think I looked enough. But it, it's just 1d4 to saves and attack rolls like normal, and then a bonus d4 for spell attack rolls. It's not that good, honestly. Like If it was 2d4 and 3d4, it would be great. But since it's just one an additional 1d4, I'm probably not going to equip it most of the time. I'm just going to stick with this and this. It's kind of a shame. It could be really cool. And it would actually be like an impactful item, but instead it's just a little bit better for spell attacks, and that's it. So, I'm not going to bother. I want to get past this crying eye without it bothering me. I think if I go this way I should be fine. Oh, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. It's going to follow me again. I just don't want it to follow me. But today I will be, I, I really should just do this. Today I'm going to do the Ancient Forge first. I didn't think too much about what type of stuff I want to forge. Realistically, the shield's not a terrible choice, but I don't think it's the best choice. I'm not going to need a weapon though, because... These are the characters I'm going to be using. I learned about a weapon that you get as part of his quest that I think I would much rather use if I wasn't using the Spell Sparkler. Oh yeah! Some of the changes. There's something you can sort by rarity now, which is interesting. And there's another... They changed this. They added that blue icon for things that are worn by people. Like This is worn by him. This is worn by someone else. They changed that from an, just an E to blue helmet for equipped by someone else, a white helmet for equipped by the person in question, which is a good change. But, but wrong person. I think the character, no, the best use for at least one of the mithril, it's making adamantine gear, but the whole thing is that it's turning mithril into adamantine. I think one of the best uses is medium armor, and then a shield is not bad. Like, I ha he can wear a sh use a shield, he can use a shield, she won't ever use a shield because she's going to be two-handing, but I have three people that can, if necessary, use a shield, so having one more pretty good shield is totally worth it. If I remember, I want... I can't remember how to lower it. Is it... I think... This is the hammer. This is the mold. That is the lava supply. It might be this that I want. No. That's the hammer. That lets the lava out. There's an elevator that is right here. I think that's maybe where I want... No, this is... Ooh, I can't remember what I'm supposed to do. 
to make it lower. Because this lowers. This is not the intended height. Intended. It's the intended height, but it's not the uh, item producing height. Like this is the lava valve, which lets this through. Um, somewhere down here, I think, is what I'm looking for. I could be wrong. It might be upstairs. It's right there. Push this button. Let's see. I kind of want to know what happens if I go there. I assume I die. But now it's down. What I need to do that did the trick, all right. is... And down it goes. I need one character straight across-ish from there. I think I can stand on the ring, because I think the lava flows between. The one character here. What's the story? One what character by the valve. One character by that. Ooh, actually I think Karlak. This is metagaming, extremely. Karlak will go there because Mephits show up here. Will got left behind because he doesn't know how to jump. Ooh, actually he can't get down now. All's well that ends. Uh not as bad as it could have. Well, I guess I need to get the platform back up for a second. Or I can't. Guess I'm going to go here and get Featherfall on Will. Let's just do this really quick. Cause this will save some time. Potentially. Once I get close enough. I can jump way down. I crushed the corpse for 17 damage. That's pretty funny. I mean, I need Featherfall again. I need to group up with Will so that he will actually jump. Will? Defender of the people. Okay, finally. Let's move. So, one character here. The gods are watching me. One character there. It, the setup is very metagamey, but I also could just have. Okay, so I actually need Karlak to give these to someone. So, scale mail is medium armor, and I'm also going to go with a shield. I don't think I need a shield, but. I just think it's the most interesting. But I'm gonna go for this first. I could make... I think I could fit... I could make two sets of medium armor. Might be better than making a shield. I think. I'm not certain if I can make both. I need the mithril ore. Where's the other mithril ore? Is it on Karlak? Okay. Seek and you shall find me. So I can make two pieces of gear. I just need to be careful. I need to keep these on me. Um, I just need to be careful of the fight that's about to happen. That's not that hard. I just need to be prepared. Because it's it's without the hammer, it would probably be like, without the mechanics in place to make it a doable fight, it would probably be the hardest fight in the game. Maybe? I'm not sure about late game fights in Chapter 3. Like, it's entirely possible that some of the late game fights in Chapter 3 are harder, even at the level that you play them at. But considering this is level 6, a very different potential. So, quick save so that if I mess up, I don't wipe. And here's where it begins. Only the best animation.
but like my previous playthrough it was a really easy fight like it was not difficult at all it was honestly the hardest part was after the fight it was a little bit janky trying to craft my second one I couldn't figure out quite what it needed but it worked out fine yes this is a golem made purely out of adamantine but all you have to do is look at this and see superheated exposure to lava has caused Grimm's adamantine body to soften can now be affected by certain types of damage types and is vulnerable to bludgeoning and the hint in the book one charisma the hint in the book is drop the hammer on him which is bludgeoning damage and the other key factor is vengeful guardian Grim always attacks the last creature that hit it if possible which means that if you have him here a character over here who can attack them they run stop there pretty much and then you can drop the hammer on them I think if this was a legitimate fight though superheated makes it so they are vulnerable to some damage they still resist a ton I think that's I think all this is even with the superheated but adamantine skin it is, I think, undamageable if it's not superheated, and even then, it's hard to kill. So if you were if you were to fight it without the hammer, you'd have to use bludgeoning damage to deal any reasonable damage, and it would be incredibly difficult with 300 HP, 18 AC, and only being able to really deal bludgeoning. You would have to very much. Ah, shoot, not far enough. So if I tried to do that, I would walk into the lava. Yeah. But... I think I can hit it from here. Okay. Learn how to walk, please. I think I can get it from here. 55... Well, it should have disadvantage on this, but it's still only 58, because it's a constitution save, not a dex save. If the dex is garbage, this is probably the best attack. 50. I guess because the save for this is 12 instead of 15. This should be a minus 2. This is a 0. Okay, that makes sense. Is there anything that would be better? 65 for some reason is the highest. Why is it 65? Because is it also? No, it's an attack roll. 18 AC. I mean, it, I'm assuming it's using the plus 7 here. That's just a really... That's a lot higher... I mean, if I don't hit here, it could be an issue. I don't need to crit. Now they're hit, and they target me, which if they go straight towards me should land around here based on my memory of their movement range. And basically everyone else just needs to not get in the way. I think, and this is what triggers the hammer. Eventually Mephits show up. He shouldn't get attacked, so he should be fine to stay here. Except he still can't. Ooh, that's new. Oh, and I have to pull it again. Because it awakened... What was the status effect awaken? Used awaken. Okay, so now I can actually... I mean, it should still be targeting me, but I don't have that condition anymore. Well, so much for peace. It's still superheated for two turns, so as long as I pull it there, it's fine. Hey! The threat assessment means that it's now targeting me, right? Yes. Which in turn means it's best for me to go here. Keep. One can't always be a gentleman. 
them there, and I think I want to pull this, but it's superheated for two turns. I shouldn't have to pull that right away. I should probably delay a turn. No, it might be difficult terrain. It would, maybe without it, it can run all the way across. I would rather play it kind of safe that way. Okay, that should be that. He should move now. Not quite far enough. I'm pretty sure that's not far enough. So, I have to delay again. Sometimes the only way out is through. This will be me. Regardless, Swords meet sorcery. Um, fifty, fifty. 50. Probably higher, but... You know what, let's use it, why not? So now it hopefully won't move too far. So maybe if I left the magma lava down, instead of refilling it, it would have been able to move that far, I don't know. I mean, time to see if it will hit. I'm going to quick save here. Because it doesn't look like it should hit, but it might. Yeah, it didn't. It's way harder when it doesn't cooperate at all with what you need. Good job. No choice but to keep going. I need to somehow pull it. Oh, I guess I stall one more turn. It moved from here to here. It shouldn't be able to move that much further. So I'm going to pull it out of the armor I can grab. wonder if the gods are watching me. Not ideal. I don't think I'm going to be able to get him to land where I need him, but let's just see how it goes here. This is, my time. is he going to move further? Yes, he is, which means now it should maybe be good. Okay, if I do that and have Will... Pull this while making sure that no one is standing in the fire. Then it should hopefully be good. It's much more awkward this time, because last time in my previous one he basically just stood right there very quickly. And the blasted hammer has no effect. It just did half his health. These are not triggering correctly. Ah, and that summoned the methods. I'm pretty sure this won't apply because it's not in the lava. But I mean, if it does apply, that would be ideal. He's still prime target. They're still prone. They have to move to superheat. I can't do that again. This is not at all the setup I was looking for. I have a better. Shatter might be better. They have 12. Shatter is 3d8. I could upcast it to level 3. I mean, I could just sleep them all. But that would be quite dull. Wait, did it increase in size? No. Okay, that would hit all three, I believe. 3d8 is not really... I mean, it's like a 50% chance to kill. Yeah, it's a bit... I mean, like, if it hits average damage, it will kill them. I could cast this, they walk in. 
44. I think I... I mean, the safe choice would be sleep them all. But I think I will just... Try and shatter them. Um, let's use that. One is alive. Not the end of the world. I can flee a bit. Join some backup. These boots have seen everything. Heal delay. For once, gods, it's hot in here is actually accurate. Most of the time, it's just she is overheated because of her magical energy core. But in this case, it actually fits quite well. Okay. Now it really is a party. This should do nothing because it's not superheated. It does prone it though. So I actually can just have it stay prone safely while I take care of the last method, which I didn't actually need that delay, but 95%. That shouldn't be an option when the creature is dead, but whatever. I could even do this. Jump here, grab it. Should I? Let's just be safe. It's objectively a bad idea. But it's funny. So they're gonna sit... There. If I can pull it... I guess as long as threat assessment is this way, it's good for me. Because if the threat assessment... Oh, I don't, it, it only reduces half its movement, so shouldn't it move? I have no idea what seismic wrath is. Why'd it go this way? Didn't I re-up its... Yeah, what was that? She was the threat. It had swapped over. Seismic wrath. I mean, that's not how it's supposed to work. Right there, I was supposed to... It was supposed to walk towards... Karlak. But... Okay, now it better go towards Karlak, because there's no reason it shouldn't. And I just need to not get killed. Um, disengage? If it still focuses him, I'm gonna complain. Because that's not the gimmick of the fight. Switch to your melee weapon, please. And you just stay here. You should walk the other way. Perfect. And not quite. Because it didn't work well. Because the lava disappeared which was so predictable. It was totally predictable that the lava would disappear that turn. They're not consistent about making it clear when that will happen. So, Will has to do this. Um, let's just move quickly before our lava gets here. It was 55 earlier. Why is, why is it lower? Did nothing. Here is a scenario where a good roll is important, or more important. Bad roll. I mean, it doesn't have a target anymore, though. So why would it focus on me? Can I disengage and just jump across? No, I can't jump quite that far. Anyway, she's safe over here for sure, though. They can't move that far as long as the lava's out. And stop on the hammer? Nope. I should be fine. Or not. What was this slam? 48 plus 7. It hit... For 33... So it, it, he got a good roll on that. Put him up. Okay.
Okay, so now I can move, jump across, and stand over here. I should be totally fine here. It should properly target the correct ally, enemy. It should correctly target the correct person. It won't because it hasn't been, but... Yeah, so this is scale armor. All incoming damage reduced by one. If they attack and hit, they get reeling, which reduces their attack by minus one for every turn. So two, and then minus two, and then minus one. Disadvantage on stealth. And attackers can't land crits on wear, which is useful. Now, who would I equip this on? Karlak for a bit. But like long term, it's not even it's not even the best armor in the game, for sure. Like there's plenty of armor that I've seen that's just better. Like there's higher AC armor. There's ones that have more consistency. The, the crit immunity is good. But other than the crit immunity, it's just not the best. Yeah. I could get some healing, but it's not the best healing even. Let's just heal me. Then you just sit there. The the lava's probably gonna disappear again. So maybe if, as long as he does that, it won't disappear. Yes, yeah, so that means more flow, so it shouldn't disappear. Okay, it did though. Why did it disappear? What dictates the point of disappearance? Like, what determines when it disappears? Okay, now I have lava for a turn at least. Let's go. Great targeting, it's hitting the nothing. Okay, now I'm gonna move far back because I don't wanna die. You can move back. I mean, it's not gonna land there. It's gonna land somewhere here. It's not gonna be in the right place. It's not gonna stop where I need it. But of course, now I'm doomed. My first attempt at this in my previous playthrough, it was super straightforward. But I'm gonna hope the hammer hits. Thank God. It's super janky feeling, but this gives a helmet. It's a heavy helmet though, so none of my units can use it. Uh, where it can't be crit, resistant to fire damage, and can apply Hunter's Mark. It's good-ish. The crit immunity is good. I don't think it's the best thing in the game though. It's also just not that interesting. Yeah, that, that fight is, like, it's not hard, it just, it's just a gimmick fight, which is never my favorite, unless it's an interesting gimmick, which this is not. So, time to forge some more stuff. Karlak, you go there. Still breathing. What Still am breathing. I forging? I think I will forge a shield, just for variety. I have the mold, right? Yes, shield mold. Yeah, because I could make another medium armor, but this is the shield mold, right? I'm pretty sure I put the shield mold in. I just don't trust my basic memory of five seconds ago. Nope, this. So that's all in. Now I think all I have to do well, is get Karlak to pull this, get everyone out of the lava, and then once it's all there, pull the lever. And that should make it. Yes. And I have to wait for it to go away eventually. Okay, my previous playthrough it actually took a long time to go away. 
I'm actually really glad it just went away like that. And I think that's all the mithril you can even get, so... Them's the two items. So this... Adamantine shield, when a melee attack misses, misses, is the key part. The attacker is sent reeling for two turns. When a foe hits you with a melee attack, you can use your reaction to knock it prone unless they succeed a dex save and attackers can't crit. The wearer. Now, is it the best? No. I actually think the when an attack misses send reeling is a little better than the when you get hit because you don't want to be hit, but it's sort of win more versus not win more. It's different use cases. Uh, ah, they have the same AC. Oh, the magic touch. He doesn't have his mage armor. But he should have better AC. Which means that if... On the assumption that this doesn't suddenly count as armor, no rest for the wicked, I it's probably better on him. Though I lose heroism, but whatever. So yeah, now he has 18 AC still. If he, he's less likely to use it, but he's more likely to trigger the adamantine shield. Keeping him safe is better. I don't know. It doesn't actually matter. It's probably better on him because I actually use him in the front lines occasionally. But his AC is currently really bad because I don't have good equipment on him. Once I have good equipment on him, I'll either not use a shield for aesthetic reasons or... Actually... The two weapon fighting with him would be great. Put like spell sparkler offhand and uh, like a rapier in his primary hand to better suit his aesthetic. That's probably what I'm gonna do at level eight. Is it optimal? Probably not. But it will be much more aesthetically suited to the character than a staff and a shield. So. Long term, I'm equipping it on him anyway. It's not necessarily more efficient, but... Yeah, that's the Adamantine Forge. Lots of options for items. You can make shields. You can make scale mail. No one can wield this helmet. It looks abysmal. It's incredibly ugly. Not proficient. Like, no one's proficient in heavy armor. She's not proficient, and it would actually be detrimental long-term. So, send to camp. But now she has slightly better armor, and she's worth worse at stealth checks. Actually, I think the adamantine backlash is good for a berserker, because you kind of... their inherent mechanic is getting hit, ignoring the fact that it's medium armor, and they're, they have an entire mechanic around not having armor. But... That's not important, you know? Okay, right. I, I meant to actually, before the fight started, I meant to equip a secondary staff, but... Oh well, too late now. So I'm basically never going to use the Arcane Blessing again, because it just feels lame that it doesn't apply what the words say it does. I mean, Melf's first staff and this for the rest of the game until I get a better staff. But, that's that. Oh yes, I can explore not a lot. Yes. I think the I think the only thing left is interacting with this area. Interacting with this area. Uh, can I avoid the scrying eye? I could just I could blast it from somewhere. I might try to bait it somewhere and kill it somewhere else, just because I don't want it following me anymore. I need to go up here. I think back there is where I killed a bunch of gnomes, so it should be safe to walk there to kill a scrying eye. I think there's supposedly a quest for this, but I don't really 
I'm not really worried about picking up a quest to get rid of a scrying eye that insists on following me. I think it makes a ton of sense to just kill it in a corner by itself. No traps, please. While it's catching up, I'll grab. Oh, useful. Oh, did it stop following me? It did. That's nice. So, I think I'm basically done with the area. What brought it down, you think? We need to get that near guy unstuck. All well, those gnomes are done for. I don't want to talk to you. Whatever, it's going to follow me. I'm going to go over here for now. And get my camera stuck. That's the cult's doing. Donald joined up too. I've never talked to these guys. Seen her run with a barrel under her arm. Just a small one. But enough to blow the drow out. Someone should grab it. Slaves are never gonna manage with pickaxes. Can't go chasing maybes. The sergeants are ticket in. Oh, would you look at that, Kerr? Someone's having a listen. A shiver runs through you. Your mind is awash with ancient resentments. What? True soul, no less. What do you think, Kerr? Should we take Nia's debt off her? Uh... Why would you think that? The stench. All you twat souls got one. Some of us got a nose for it. If I didn't know better... I'd say a mind flayer shat a worm in your brain. Should split your head open and poke around in there if you lot don't pay up. Um... I want him out in the other I ain't parlaying with more twat souls. Just want my coin. Yeah. Your blade ready, Kerr. Drop it, Brithvar. You chop this one, and Nia won't pay a damn copper. Fine. Spill what you want, true soul. Before I just I choke did. Your stench. What? This interaction is a mess. Like, so... You have a lead. I said this. Why is it then the stench line or all I'm going to spill are your guts like the shiver returns this time it's colder sharper the stench don't lie you're one of them we get the Yankee line it's kind of interesting the slightest of breezes slips through your skull. Could be you're right. Something's different with you. In that case, want to earn some gold? I thought you hadn't been paid yet. Depends. Grins after the absolute glory. That's why she's got those slaves digging for Nia. But we ain't need glory. Just coin! And Nia's got plenty. Help Thryn free Nia. Then you and my chums grind him up. I'm gonna have Whatever to kill them eventually anyway. We'll drop you a fat cut. You in. I'm gonna I'm gonna kill them anyway, because I owe that to the mushroom people, but Uh, I'm in. Good. But first, we need to take care of something. You've seen that weird orb I floating about? Knife it. And don't get caught. The cult watches through it. And we can't risk more twat souls showing up. You still standing about? Get on it. Uh. Anyway, I'm just gonna leave. I'm not gonna mention the powder I have. Where's a good place to go? 
That's not quiet, but in there might be if it will follow me that far. Do I have to take it nice and slow, or does it have a set distance it's willing to travel? I could bring it through there. This is slightly more interesting. Oh wait, no, I have to go up this way, don't I? If I want to go here, I need to go up top. Does it just have a poor attention span? So I'm going to have one character lead it away. Which is, will it follow Karlak? No, it probably follows my character. Like the creepy player character. Or the, I guess avatar is what you would use to describe the player character in this. Even if you were playing like an origin character. So what I need is... Will they follow... Are they following the avatar character? Yes. I just want to blast them with an Eldritch Blast and other stuff. Like, out of its line of sight. Not letting it see... What is this? Casting an enchantment spell will re result in new portent die. Right away. Neat! That's the uh, level 6 bonus. Give up now. Now let's draw it over here. You have my attention. Then it shall be done. move up here, I guess. I kind of wish I could see whose vision was which. I guess the fact that these guys don't have a vision cone is kind of all I need to know. Sharp as ever. Okay. Freeze time. He's going to blast it with Eldritch Blast, 95% with a plus 4 should deal minimum 10 damage if it doesn't miss. That won't stop me yet. Don't waste a step. Like missing on a 95 would be kind of rough. I'm glad I didn't. That's a good thing about Eldritch, Eldritch Blast, it just hits so hard, so much, so often. 75 experience for that is a ton. The eyes clobbered. Good work. Time to bust Nier out and shred him. I have obtained explosive powder. Good. Drop it near the rubble when it's time. Flaming arrow or some such will set it off. Okay. Right, I think. Yes, save the Grimforge gnomes, which I think will require us to kill the Dwergar, or maybe I can convince them afterwards. They probably won't agree without a lot of persuasion. See how the little pricks do when we strap fire to their legs. <laughs> Charming. Hell is truly where we make it. Move, Hoon. I don't have. I do like highlighting the legs and not having her boots. Um. A soul to report to you, Gek Cole is dead. Dead. Drugman Gek. Figured I could count on him. Lesson done well learned. Now move. I've got no time for- The parasite stirs, but it's a mere tickle. You hear no thoughts or memories. Just an echo of scars that never heal. Oh yeah, she's head empty. Soul, eh? Useless wreck of a lookout could have told me. Glad you're here to take responsibility. Tunnels collapsed. Trapped true soul near. He's stuck in there with poisoned geezers. We don't get him out soon. It's both our heads. Poisoned geezers. Subject of the Myconid's ire, no? Yes, it definitely makes sense to say this out loud in front of her. That should do the trick. That's so. Set it near the rubble and ignite it. That'll blow the drow out. 
Anyway, time to blow some stuff up. Hey, it's my boy. I forgot about him here. Very well. Ah, oh, it's you. The mascot of my ill fortunes. Much as I'd love to chat, I'm not allowed social breaks. Looks like you need rescuing again. How'd you get captured? I came down here looking for Wolbrin. I suspected he and his little friends might have come to this region. And I was right. But I was too late. Wolbrin had already been taken to Moonrise Towers. The rest put to work. You won't find a worse. As I was oh, contemplating I his folly, click. I was spotted by a very ugly Dwergar. Now, I dig. It isn't good. If you won't find a worse gaggle of rare duels, weird, than these Iron Hand gnomes, except for Wolbrin, desperate though his taste in companions might be. Basically, the Iron Hand gnomes are kind of crazy. They're very aggressive. Sounds like tactical error. What's the next part of your plan? Dig. And hope for an opportunity to escape. Or you could just ask for my help. These brutes are no <laughs> goblins. I doubt you could take them on. You will. If you are successful, that would be most convenient. He's kind of annoying, but you can kind of respect him. Uh, rune powder? Before interacting in the save. I'm gonna try to save this person. I don't think I can. Oh, he didn't kick them into the lava. Worthless slaves! Your incompetence has been my ruin! Uh, can you even save the I don't think you can save that gnome. Maybe if you attack before this engages. No more innocents will die today. You care for the weak true soul. Most curious. Of course I care. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with this. This isn't about them. I just can't stand your face. And yet you came to my aid. So that I could kill you. But a test. Yes, you must be. It's all the same. The absolute bade you to try Nir's faith. Thryn, carve out her heart and serve it to the Rothe. If she indeed is a true soul, let the absolute save her. That's such a weak line. I mean, it is a barred line. Might as well use it. Insufferable, insolent scum. I'm going to enjoy this. Shut your shitholes, both of you. You owe my crew a ten days worth of coin near. And it's time he pulls a you shell out. dagger, Direct not even a sword. Dwergar, you shall have your coin. You're damn right I'll have it. Me and that one, we got a deal. That was so robotic. And dig the juice out from your carcass. You bargained with this wretch. How vexing. Nair is not without mercy, true soul. Hmm. The rat has given you a chance to earn my favor. I think the voice is trying Strike to him down. prove that he's prove afraid a little. Side with the rebels, obviously. Heretics. Why does she disapprove, though? Let she probably wants you to end. just step back. Is her choice, but... Um, Hunter's Mark, not an issue. And it's on a... Dwarf? Why would I help that? 
I want them to die. Oh, I, I want them to die. Why would I help? I know why it's an option, but I have no reason to help. I did. I've done this fight in my previous playthrough. 4v everyone. It wasn't even that rough. With having three people on my side, it's going to be pretty easy. So. They're gnomes. I could blast this guy. I have disadvantage because of melee. Um, no one else is currently in the go. That's a full action. I should use this, honestly. Four blasts of it kills this guy. I could just melee, though. 96 doesn't hit very hard, though. 5 to 10, not good enough. Eh, it'll come back on a short rest. Make sure I don't hit any gnomes. Just cast it right there. I don't know. Push this guy. Didn't expect it to work, but... You're... You're a ranged dude? Oh, you're pushing him into, a, into lava is what you're trying to do. Interesting. So, I leave them in there. I don't really need to rage, but I also have no reason not to. And then I reckless attack this dude. Silence them instantly. Wait, yeah, I do get... I didn't have any reason to reckless attack here. Because there's two people here, so I get the reckless, uh, I get the bravery anyway. What are you doing, gnome? Stay out! Stay out of the Hadar! Let's counterspell that. This gnome! Stand outside the hunger of Hadar! What are you doing? Stand outside the hunger of Hadar! What are you doing? What is this game? I will actually reload to... Fix your game. I guess I'm not using Hunger of Hadar. Because these gnomes are too stupid to not walk into it. Finally. Okay. Pause for a second. I'm going to really quickly just try to equip my secondary staff, because I want to. Since I have to restart for the hunger of Hadar killing the gnomes that literally walk into it. Like, what the... Like, basic decision making, please. <sighs> Whatever, I'm not going to bother, it's not worth it. No more innocents will die today. I can't stand your face. In your eulogy. Died with the rebels. Basically the same start. I actually have a ton of AC. Because I can go to 23 with shield. So it's actually in my best interest to scoot a little. Because he's less likely to hit me. It will reel him, and I can get into a better, safer position where I can actually cast spells safely. So, six concentration wisdom save, 65%, 65, 50, 50. Yeah, I just feel like I might as well. Two, three, I out of line of sight. One, two, three, four, five. Can I target one of them twice? No. Uh, Mind Master Donal needs 15. I don't need that. Mind Master is not that important. That is an animation. Animation is maybe not the right word. That, that is a visual effect. Half, less AC, worse deck saves. Wonderful. I affected three of them oh there's a guy there 
didn't see them. Stay away from the edge because you might get pushed. He's not going to be able to move anywhere near as far. Except this time, instead of moving, he made the correct choice of... He made the correct choice... Of what's the word? Using his crossbow. Anyway, we can't hunger Padar because then the gnomes commit suicide. Blast this guy into range of Karlak. Because now they can't run. I could hex somebody, but like, mm, I'd much rather hunger of hater. It just doesn't work. Oh yeah, they they ran to push the guy, but the order changed. I remember now. What kind of targeting is that? They hunter mark this guy, and then they shoot two other targets. Like that's such a weird decision. I could bless. I could blast. I could blast a couple guys. I could dissonant whispers. I could tash his hideous laughter, which is not really necessary. Um. I could shatter these two, which wouldn't be too bad. I could sleep. It's my best to just bless. Get that going now. Because I don't really have much. I also should use speak with animals at some point. Yeah, I think the concentration spell that I'm most likely to use here is bless. I might bless myself instead of him though. Too far. Let's move up here, which should be pretty safe. And now, they're melee range, so they can't target me. That- oh, that's the one that was outside. Was that- Grease. Shield of Screams. Recall the voices of all who scorned you, and how they screamed in the end. 3 AC, and anyone who hits you with a melee attack takes 2 to 12 psychic damage. Nope. You can't do that. The AC is not that bad, but the guaranteed damage on getting hit is kind of annoying. What well, guaranteed? The damage on getting hit is annoying. I mean, these guys are failing their athletic throws. Ooh, good hit. They rolled a 25. This should not launch me to my death. If it does, I'll complain about the range that a gnome can launch a Raging Barbarian. Good. Uh, I mean, the, it, aiming it looks this way, but let's just be safe. Because if it launched the gnome into there, I don't want that. Anyway, um... I could do that. I'm going to focus up here, probably. So I need to keep throw concentrated. He shouldn't be able to shoot me if I'm over there, I believe. I think the safest place to stand would be near here. Just pulled in... New enemies? Over here, okay. Death is but a word away. Yeah, I'm going to focus on these two first, because they're the most... I don't know, in-game they're the most... Uh, Important though, I actually really don't want that. I want them to die eventually, but I don't want them to be pushed into nowhere. So, wait, why is this? Oh, they went outside of range of the slow, and so the slow stopped on them. Maybe I don't need this anymore because underdog's bravery. Do 
Do I bonus action frenzied strike? Not yet. I don't. I wouldn't kill them, so I don't think it's worth the minus one attack. Move to the center. Don't move where you're gonna get pushed off easily. This shouldn't push him into the abyss. This would push them into the abyss. Let's just continue focusing on the biggest threats. That damage is so over the top. Oh, if I'd rolled just slightly better. I rolled above average, though, so it's fine. If I'd rolled slightly better, I would have killed him. That's just a melee attack on a guy that I'm not... Ah, do I get experience if they die, though? If they die and I get experience, that's good for me. I don't think that guy that fell died yet. They're just burning to death. If I get experience if they die, that's good for me. Listen up. Um, how much do I hit for? I hit for pretty good. I guess I could finish this guy off. Just finish them off there. Take their loot. Send this to the caravan. Caravan. Camp. Okay, they seem to push him. Come on, push him. Scoot around and push him. Useless. Counter spell. Having multiple options for counter spell is very nice. That's fine. He did nothing this fight. He was a non-issue. That's dangerous, potentially. But that is a concentration. So as long as I break the concentration or kill them, I'll be fine. You, why do you rage this late? Like... Should have raged so long ago. Who rages and then does that instantly? This is a guy I need to kill. 64. 60, yeah, these are all going to be 64. I could fireball. I could lightning, actually. The lightning is slightly more... Oh, but the lightning hits me. I could scoot. But I'd actually get hit pretty bad. Uh, actually, does this get cleared by getting shoved? Ends when hit. The shove would not make contact. 64% chance. 56. I, I think if I was super worried, I think fireball is the choice. Because it would be the most likely to deal damage. But instead, I just miss, so. I'll still be fine, probably, because I have two people before then. Will can blast them, almost certainly. Is that could burn yet? Is he still in the lava? He is. He's going to die on his turn, for sure. Now this turn, I will frenzy. Broken Moon Lantern is noteworthy. Those are cool. This is relevant. That's relevant. That's an interesting sword. Probably pretty good to give to him if I actually use it as a melee weapon. If I go here, can I do this right now? No, I can't. I didn't expect I could, but it'd be funny. I don't have bonus action. Count on me. Just sit right there. I didn't get experience for that. Oh, what a loss of experience. Darn. Doesn't actually matter, but like... What a waste of experience that I was going to get. Like, that would have been 75 experience. But instead they died.
What? Dash action surge dash. What a use of action surge that was. So. Basically, okay, but how many enemies? One, two, three, four left. My goal is once there's one left, I'm going to turn on these guys. Though, there might be an interesting interaction, so I won't turn on them. That would be. It's more interesting to try and see the interaction than to betray them mid fight. Even if betraying them mid fight is the better choice. Do they have advantage? No, they just rolled really well. Just a good roll. So they're going to attack him. Or not. I mean, she does actually have... I do have lower AC on Tav than on Gale. Thunderous applause. I need to deal thunder damage to an enemy to regain a portent die. I mean, they're on the grease. I know that. Will it hit her? Is she standing on the grease? I don't think so. Uh, they probably aren't on the grease anymore. Don't kill him. That'd be a waste of experience. Don't waste my XP. This is my experience right here. You can't have it. Let's hope they don't push me into a pit. Under their noses. Okay. There are... There's this guy up here that I need to kill. I can't press the dead to jump. I'm unequipping that gear. Because the fact that it forces you to not press... You can't press the dead to jump. It just breaks basic muscle memory that I've already established. Okay, if I can get him up and then blast him 9 meters, it'll be great. Yeah, sure, why not? Inoculated basic poison. That was like their fourth cast of magic missiles. Oh yeah, there's an invisible guy somewhere. And I didn't apply sea invisibility on Gale. Uh. They were in the fire. Just because I don't want to forget. And I'm going to group my people up a bit. Yes. <laughs> Is an aura revealing where they are? Will they let me... No, they won't. Okay. I thought it would be weird if they did, but it would have been pretty funny if they would let me. My goal is basically I'm going to group my people up so I can kill them easily afterwards. This guy's going to get absolutely blasted. Oh, they're too close. Dead man. Do I have a jump? I don't. The frenzy wore out because they didn't deal damage. That's not the end of the world. They're gone. Find them. They're right there. Is that like... Are they bleeding? What what status do they have that would cause that? That's like... I don't know. I removed it from my bar for some reason? I didn't mean to remove it from my bar. I clicked it. If I go here... Can I drag it? 
back. Um, how do I add it back to the bar? Uh, maybe if I unequip and re-equip the staff, it would work. They're going invisible for some reason. Oh, for a second I thought he was turning on me. We are going to... Firebolt there. It's not going to hit. Because, I don't know, maybe they just don't exist. Or that's not where they are. Oh, they were there. The aura was tricking me. No, it doesn't actually matter. Finish the turn. They need to fix this. They apparently did fix this type of stuff, though. Like, there are apparently some issues with... Creating pools of liquid, and that taking forever. This is my time. I definitely need to get him down. Like the whole creation pools of liquids was taking an infinite amount of time, and it just was causing issues. Let me focus on my character. Shit house. You see it? Cock stench had a regular in his skull. All the more reason to clear out. Plan. Grab your gear, wipe your asses. Time I scrammed before more pricks from Moonrise Towers move in. Um, and the slaves, what about them? Clan property. They come with us. Speak up, chief. You can't just let the clan... Yes, you've given me the chance to say this. They'll just slow you down. I'm totally in favor of using friends in scenarios like this. I'm like friends is not great, but he's a person that I'm totally fine killing. So using friends in this sort of scenario makes a lot of sense. Hmm. You got a point. Likely to be all hobbled up what with the lashings. No pricks. You're off the hook. Scram before I get my senses. Yes, this should totally be an option still. And the gold you owe me? Someone's gone picking my pockets, you chaff. You want coin? There's plenty of corpses to sack. Come at me, you shit. Breaker of Chains is just saving them, I assume. Yeah, there's nobody up there, which is, makes this fight easier. There's only four of them. Pretty easy. He still has Enlarge. He still has friends. That that does nothing here, right? Yeah, just charisma checks. Okay, so you're gonna... Hope... Okay, I'm gonna quick save. If this blasts him into the lava, I'm going to complain. Good. It didn't, as it shouldn't. Those guys turned invisible. Scoot up this way. And fireball. I believe the other guy was up there. So just I want to go as far up that way as I can go while hitting that the ones that I can see. Um Why not? Is it worth it? Probably not. Never a dull moment. Okay. These guys are not surprised. This guy's not a threat right now. The invisible dude... Oh, it's not invisible. It's the dude right there. I think Vicious Mocker is probably worth it. If it hit. Anyway, scoot back. Hide. I thought there was another invisible dude. Yeah, when struck. Wait, I thought... Do I not have shield prepared, or did he just roll really high? Hit for 10. 23, yeah. Do I not have shield prepared? Let me recite their demise. Shield is plus 5. I have level 1 spells. Wait, they put it... 
Shield is a level 1 spell. Why is it not letting me use it for reactions with level 1 spell slots? Is it broken? It is just kind of broken, maybe? Well, no, I need it to be asked, because it's not an ask and it doesn't trigger. He hit me on a 23. I'm not silenced. Allow me to demonstrate. I have a reaction, I'm pretty sure, because I did nothing that would trigger a reaction. Why did it not trigger shield? It only hit for 23. Is it... No, if, it, if it's a runner, it's tied, actually, I think. If it's 23 and it's equal, then it would hit anyway. I think that's how it works. So I just barely got hit. So I think that's... I think that is reasonable. It's just still suspicious that I haven't seen... I haven't seen... Shield proc in, like... 10 hours of gameplay. Like, it's been a long time since it's procced at all. Which is just generally kind of suspicious that it hasn't been procking. I don't know why the gnomes aren't running away. Like, these gnomes aren't really doing much. Like, they're just kind of standing nearby. It's, yeah. Don't need to worry about silence. Even if I got there, it wouldn't be enough. Oh, I have concentration because it's friends. Only 11 damage, though. Not the best roll. Yeah, 6 to six, six to 36 and only, only did 11. That's not great. 3d6, 11 would be about 4. That is above average. Yeah. Wait, what? 6 to 36 is not right. Looking at the numbers, it should be 3 to 18 damage. So 11 was pretty good. Yeah, it's not 6 to 36. Should I Misty Step? Do I even need to Misty Step? Yes, I do. Ah, it's the charm procs. Nice. Can I no, he's enlarged, so I can't throw him. Too heavy. Aw, they're not small enough to throw. What a shame. Sadly, they're heavy. If only they weren't. The irony that he's my highest AC. 18 versus 15 and 15, 17, and 18 actually, she's at 18 now, that's good. Like, he's my highest AC, but I have him in the back because he can't cast spells from range, whereas, I mean, look at that, like, that's actually an effective melee damage dealer. There's some cool, uh, this shouldn't be saying it's equipped when they're dead. This design of daggers is another one that's noteworthy. I speak, they burn. 
it, I think it's specifically, like it has a better critical range. He's the one with reckless attack on him. That makes sense. Which is why I had advantage and therefore neutral when he was in, when he was too close instead of disadvantage. Yeah, reckless attack. If he reckless attacks, I don't need to. Or more accurately, it's not useful for me to use reckless attack if he uses it. Scoot, ah, scoot on up. Better hit chance, plus two. He's not resistant, he's not resistant. No, oh, let's beat him up. Beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. I probably need to full rest relatively soon. Can't give up now. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. Apparently you get this for free when you do something later, so I don't actually need to work towards it. Did they? No, no. Suffer? It was over in a finish. I think I'm going to get this so that I can work towards these ones. Except, I'm going to leave those for now because this is metagaming. Apparently, if you do the thing that you get a choice to do at the at the start of chapter 3, end of chapter 2, you get all the basic ones for free. It might not, it might not be basic basic, it might be like basic basic. It might not be all of these, but if it is all of them, it's better to save the tadpoles. Seems like a good moment to talk. Well, you did it. Yes. Don't sound so surprised. Nothing good happens in the Underdark. I don't know if you've heard, but some of the Iron Hand gnomes, my friend Wolbrun among them, have been taken prisoner. Something to like you told me Tower. this. And so, to Moonrise Towers I go. Like, he's absolutely insane. He shouldn't even try. But you have to respect, like. He does care about his friend, and he's willing to try, even if he's going to die. Like, I believe I'm destined for the towers as well. I'll look for your friends. Friend, singular. I'm looking for Wolbrin. If anyone else should be incidentally helped, then bully for them. Sensing a bit of history. It isn't personal. No one likes the Iron Hand Gnomes, except the Iron Hand Gnomes. Why don't you rest in my camp before your next big move? Certainly not. In case you haven't been paying attention, my friend has been taken captive. This is a pretty good he chain of me. dialogue. I suspect I'll be rescuing you a third time then. Ha. I was unlucky twice. The odds of it happening again are very slim. Then again... A small rest might be prudent. Uh, give me time to think. Hmm. Hmm. So much time to think. Fine. Show me where to go and I'll try my luck. I'll have a better chance of rescuing Walbrin if I'm at my best. And, um, thank you. Yeah, like, he's at least willing to thank us and stuff. Like, it's kind of nice. He's not my favorite character. He's incredibly obnoxious, but Beldron, I was so worried. Did Nir hurt you? No, no, I'm all right. Did the sergeant hurt you? Oh, who cares? We're together now, thank Iron Hand. <laughs> we ought to thank someone a little closer by, I think. Gadel Iron Hand, you may not be, but you damn well fight like him. <laughs> I'm grateful, don't mistake me, but why help us? You're one of them, aren't you? Um... I think I, it would seem not fits the aesthetic. You did just lift a mountain from our heads, so... Good enough for me, <laughs> Good enough! Here. That's good. The Iron Hand Gnomes honor their debts. With Walbrun gone, that 
falls to me. Uh, yeah, we're taking the moonrise. I, the cult kept us for slave hands, but Walbrun was our leader. He knows things, things the cult would like to know too, it seems. No time to be coy. What is it that Wolbrin knows? Favorable beginnings? Already a 10? This is where I would not use friends. Because it, it shouldn't fail. If it fails on a 1, I'll reload. You'll call me mad, but fine. Wolbrin's found the formula for room powder. I. The explosive of Gerdel Iron Hand's own creation. Fistfuls, wiping out armies. All those old stories. Only Walbrun couldn't leave the stories be, so he went and bloody found it. A small supply tucked away down here with a manuscript. He just made sense of the formula when the cult jumped us, so he burned the damn thing. If there's a single copy left, it's sitting in his head. Those absolutists pull it out and make rune powder, they could flatten the whole of the Sword Coast. I think that would be interesting to actively try to kill Wolbrin so that he doesn't share it. Like, not from this character, but just playing a hyper evil, pragmatic adjacent character. Like, um, Wrath of the Righteous has Regal or Re Regal, whatever you want to pronounce it, the. Hell Knight Gnome, that sort of character where they're evil, but in a uh, sort of lawful sort of sense, where it's pragmatism to a certain extent. Like, killing Wolbrin is pragmatic. Then they can't get the explosives no matter what. Um, how long do you think he can hold out? Not long enough. My people can barely stand, and we have business back in the city. <sighs> that business is what sent us after the powder to begin with. Now, we'll have to make other arrangements. Uh... Whatever, I'll see about freeing him myself. He'd admire your resolve and your optimism. My people will find somewhere to regroup across the lake, then on to the city. If you find yourself in Baldur's Gate, seek us out. We'll raise a glass to Walbrun together. Uh, they complain about their dead sister? My sister! Dead by Nia's hand! Mana! I'm so sorry. Anyway, yeah, they're just dead. Bunch of people to loot. We're together. Here's the most noteworthy part. Swap out blink for Well I should be so dumb to use actual spell slots on Gust of Wind. Gust of Wind is a second level spell? It's so bad. Why would you ever use Gust of Wind? One with the weave. Anyway, um... I venture forth. I'm using it here because... I think it's kind of interesting. The coward's root. A singular potato. Then you can get up here. And... Clear that. Eh, that worked fine. Now get my character and just jump. Go out here, which we don't actually need to do. It's mostly... Actually, no, I think this does trigger some quest-related stuff. It's, I think, the end of the quest to look for the That's temple. I can't jump any further. I mean, I definitely can. But I would need to feather fall, and they don't account. They don't let me do that. 
I know why they don't. There's multiple reasons they don't. But time to loot. Book to read. Clan's gone soft. No way around it. Reading this just quick. Could have been you. I can't bear to think about it. You don't need to. We're together. That's what matters. Lerner. By the God. Relatively interesting. War pick. Inflicts shatter on hit. Like, it's kind of neat. Like, it's a different style of weapon. It's my job. I wouldn't have it any other way. She's dancing for some reason. There's a bunch of dead people. Who's this? At least... At least some of... If only there were more blessings to... Anyway, deface statue of Shar. Statue of Shar, but it's been vandalized. Is that symbol? That's the absolute symbol. Okay, um, can I grab it without jumping into the fire? Yes. Should I be able to? No, I shouldn't be able to grab that. Corsair Greymon. Ooh, new weapon. Maybe it's better. I'm not sure. This is. Can inflict Frightened, gain a bonus to attack and damage being Frightened. If she can use it, she will. Radiant damage and the Light Cantrip. No, that's not the Light Cantrip, that's just what it applies on hit. No, it just has Light applied to it. Anyway, I'm probably not using that. Bunch of torches, some javelins. Devil Foil masks are worth collecting. Because you can make the odd gear with them. Could have been you. To think about it. These mind masters are actually pretty dangerous. Um, I wanted to do the gear over here. I have the head I have to give in. I think this weapon is slightly better because Colossal Onslaught is a once per short rest. AoE line attack, which is better. Like the tw D the DC twelve silence is not totally useless, but it's probably better to have that. This is lower damage, g lower con guaranteed damage. Well, no, lower upper damage, higher lower damage. So it's more consistent damage, and it can frighten. The frighten's probably a low chance, but. It's probably a, still a better choice to go with that. And well, in it, don't give me trouble now. It's not right. Help. Such a useful critical. Heat of ownership. Wolbrin. Yeah, they claim that it's theirs with no real meaningful basis for the claim. It's a random deed in the middle of nowhere. Swift as my feet can carry me. Uh I don't know if that's good on her. It isn't heavy armor, so it's fine. It looks so bad though. Never believe this. It was over in a flesh. They're at peace now. Praise I. On my way. Bunch of loot. think about it. You don't need to. We're together. That's what matters. Chopped up pig. There's a note here that I should read. Beldron, Larida, Monkbug, Myrna, Philomene, Gickpit. Thula. There's a bunch of people here. 
it didn't trigger any talk, so it doesn't seem relevant. I'm your husband. It's my job. I wouldn't have it any other way. Give me the sausage links. Give me the sausage links. Give me my well-deserved sausage links. I just can't get these for some reason. Oh well. They really need to stop the characters repeating their sentences ad infinitum. Oh, the corpse. Better now than I'm with you. Gods. Read this. Magical sending. Feel feel the lower temple. Grim forge taken by unknown force. Many soldiers, one faith, infernal, their leader. That was from one of the Sharons when they got invaded by the forces of hell. I, don't need any I didn't mean to press C, I meant to push shift. I meant to push alt, actually. Hammer, nothing else useful. Potion of healing. I don't think there's anything here, yep. Okay, I think... I could have missed something. I think that's just about... I mean, I already grabbed the stash. I don't know why it's still there. But I'm basically done with the Underdark after this, I believe. What's inside? I have to go back and talk to the... Um, uh, what, what, what's them call it? The Mykonids. I have to talk to them for a bit, but... Oh, wait, no, I still need to check if I can get through that locked door up above. I don't know if I can. Hmm, I'll take that. So that locked door was up above here? Who's this? Is that a deep gnome? Yeah, I figured. Yes. Three turns, three attacks, without even having to action surge? That's not fair. They're just a level five, no class, nobody. They get one extra attack, they attack three times. Oh, can I? Oh, I was hoping I could jump right over. I can. Good. Perfect. Boom. And get absolutely mauled. Look at that line. It's a decent line. Good AOE. No one stopped me yet. 75 experience. That's nice. Find a way forward. Loot their corpse. Send it all to camp. I don't know if I killed the person at the dock though. I can't remember. I if I do. Like I don't think. Yep, they're all here. I wonder if these guys will talk or if they'll fight me right away. Because it'd be pretty fun to talk to the stonemasons and them not pick a fight, but they pick a fight. I think it would have been more interesting if the stonemasons were like, yo, we're just stonemasons. We're just here for the history. Yeah, just jump. for that. That should be fine, but yeah, it should be fine. Yes. Featherfall. That is indeed the spell to cast. Don't get too close. For sure. What is this? How do I not have the movement speed to walk that far and then jump? Oh well. What? It keeps deleting stuff when I'm clicking. It's my mouse, probably. Maybe if I go here and... Okay, that fixed it, which means maybe... In. 
Maybe. There it is. With haste. What fools these mortals be. There. Okay, new guy. Sometimes the only way out is through. Why are they at 11 HP? Oh, they were one of the people that was fighting there. Why'd they leave? Are they just hiding in a corner? Uh, sneak attack melee. I will totally roll a four tent. Divination wizard is kind of nice to have. You're coming with me. Definitely. Definitely. Definitely gonna go with them. Still breathing, despite everything. I kind of wish it would be way too thorough for something that doesn't matter. I wish characters appropriately changed, like enemies. He's not dead. I wish enemies appropriately changed their reactions and lines based on. It's not dead. Based on their like state. I'm exhausted. Like Better find somewhere to if all their buddies just got absolutely murdered, they didn't opt for, hey, we're confident in this fight. I wish there were lines like, hey, this will be rough. Like that would make some sense, but Spider Guy's probably still down here. I'm gonna talk to the Rothe. They're probably not gonna say much. These are the important ones though. If they're still here. Which they're not, but I have loot to steal. Just scroll of greater invis. A uh, bunch of junk. A bunch of mushrooms that are actually useful. I could go back, but I'm just going to teleport back later. Why is there a golden skeleton? Is Spider Boy here? He should be. Where would he? Oh, maybe I already killed him. What's hiding here? Ooh, a note or a letter. Jom, like a phoenix from the ashes, Grimforge has risen from the dead. I've heard of a drow cultist gathering the Dwergar in the old city hall city's halls. That the absolute means to recruit them, I've no doubt. Yet it's what they might seek amidst the ruins that most troubles me. You've not failed me yet. Go to Grimforge, cling to Shadow, and bring word of the cult's intentions to last light. I will be waiting. Jay. Oh, that's... Is that Jahira, maybe? Because Jay, Jahira. And that's a Harper pin. Yeah, so it's definitely Jahira. What an odd emblem. Make a roll. Make a history roll. Make an investigation. Make any roll. There was no role to not know, but I know it's a Harper emblem. Okay, I'm going to be back in a moment. And I'm back, so it's time to... Who is just speaking? Ah, up there. They're not drunk, though. They should be. Ooh, I need to save them. And by I need to save them, I mean... I'd probably complain if I didn't save them. Step by step. Okay, good enough. I've got this. I've got it. Hey, stick shit! It's stick pit, you piss pot. What I said, stick shit! My mug's gone dry, stick shit. It's broken. This is not the interaction that should be happening here. Like, that's not the correct interaction at all. I need to unequip the gear on him again. I forgot that I wanted to. Fleet of foot.
You know what? I never use this. I might as well. Darn. I mean, I know exactly where they are. Will they let me shoot it? Probably not. Yeah. I respect that decision, but... <laughs> Do you have any actual spells that I could use that wouldn't... Blood surface turned into ice. Two steps at a time. Yes. Stay in melee range. That is the choice. Checkmate. No time to rest. Shit. You did it. It was literally two weaklings. Uh, take the lift to the surface. Beldrin is taking the others across the lake. Wait for them there. Meet them at the dig site. Free. Glory to Iron Hand. I'll join the others. Won't be needing this poison now that you've off the bricks. Hey, he's gonna get them. Bet you'll find it handy though. I won't. You're a good one. I won't forget it. What poison did I get? No poison. Oh, maybe she was talking to someone else. At the ready. I don't think I got any poison. The pride of the gate. Yeah, I didn't get any poison. On, they lied to me? Is that blood? Why would they lie to me like this? I'm opening this, I'm not gonna go through it yet. Night one. I don't know. The intro to that book didn't draw me in, so I, didn't re I don't think it's worth reading. Butter bun. Sounds tasty. I didn't even grab this guy because this the combat started. I wanted to change equipment on somebody. Okay, before I forget. Speak with animals. He has the invisibility. He needed to change something. Didn't he? Yes. Someone needed to change something. Well, I don't remember. Not as bad as it could have. No loot. How much farther can I go? Blue cap. So I need to go here. There might be a couple there again, or still. Anything of use? But the fact that nothing is being stolen, like all of these are normal takes now. I don't know if these were normal takes before or not. Okay, so they left. There's a book, though. It's just gonna be a generic book. Garbage, this is where the gnomes are getting bright ideas. Deep in the Underdark lived Doyle, a plucky deep gnome slave. Day and night he and his brother toiled for five Dwergar, Dwergar smiths, mining iron and mithril until their arms ached and their eyes burned. Faster, cried the Dwergar. The faster Doyle, Doyle would dig, even into the night, and faster, while his master slept, smiling all the while. How can you smile while we slaved? asked the brother. Because I wish our masters much success, was Doyle's reply. Word of the Dwergar's quality weapons and armor quickly spread. This is a good joke, I think. Uh, the point is going to be better gear meant people attack them for the gear. To meet demand, the Dwergar brought in more slaves. Oh, maybe not and began to forge and stockpile their wares at the dig site. Yet Doyle dug harder than ever, and his grin, wide grin never faltering. Soon the Dwergar's operation grew so great that they commanded twenty deep gnome slaves. The day the twenty-first came, Doyle laughed and whooped so loud, his Dwergar captors sought silence in a nearby grotto. The slavers returned to find Doyle and his fellows, fellow deep gnomes clad in robust mithril armor and carrying mighty iron weapons, all taken from the slavers' stockpile. The five Dwergar fell quickly, 
for they were no match for twenty-one armed deep gnomes. And Doyle, he never stopped smiling. That's fun. That's a good one. I was thinking it was going to be gnomes more elaborate. Killed under the yoke of slavers. I've already had this interaction. Kill or be killed. So it goes down in the Underdark. Will they let me loot the corpses? I mean, I assume most of them have nothing, but I mean, there was a gem on one. Potato. Uh, mug's not even worth grabbing. Two money. Money and a fish. Money. Anyway, there's nothing here. Nothing should change anywhere else here. Maybe it's worth going back to her hiding spot, but I assume not. This Harper thing's bugging me, because I already got it. I'm going to say I've cleared this area to an extent that I'm happy with. And all that's left will be to deliver his head, but before that I'm going to camp. I didn't mean go to camp, I meant long rest. I have to talk to Gail. I don't want to talk to Gail. He's not a bad dude. Oh, Wolverine. Oh, that's Barkus Root. I forgot. First that's his name. Why am I Lazel? No, I'm not Lazel. I'm a Gith Yankee. I forgot. I've already seen this, haven't I? Maybe not. My, you startled me. I, uh, it's miles away. Just pondering what I lost. Mistra commands all magic. I've Salvation, already seen this. If such a thing exists, is hers to bestow. I'm like 90% sure well, in this game I've already seen even this. Now, more than I fear losing my own self and soul, I fear losing my command of her art. Magic is I'm just gonna go through this quickly because I've definitely already life. seen this. Is it the same for you? Not quite so intense. Perhaps I can show you what I mean by reaching into the weave to get. Ooh. I already did that. I already did that interaction with this character. It is bro like that is the interaction that occurred after the party scene. I think. I thank you for the invitation to your camp. It's um, well appointed. And there's fire everywhere. Perfect for thinking. And I've been doing just that. What about? It's about Wolbrin. We know he's been taken to Moonrise Towers, and we know I'm going to save him. The problem is this. A preponderance of evidence that <sighs> I am a terrible adventurer. He's self-aware enough. I'm not sure I should trust Wolbrin's fate to, well... Me. That's this makes me care for him. This is what makes him a fun character. By this point, he's like, you know what? I'm incompetent. Uh, I could look for him. You've done so much already. I'm hesitant to prevail upon you again, but I can't risk recapture. I barely escaped last time. You'd do it then. You'd look for him. These, this dialogue is messy. That's <clears throat> very decent of you. Thank you. Yeah, There's this is something messy. else you should know. Something I can no longer ignore. I know you've learned about the gnome's pursuit of rune powder, but do you know what it truly is? Rather explosive gnomish myth. That myth has come to life. The Iron Hand Gnomes have proven the impossible. Rune powder is real, and they have it in their possession. And... What do they want to do with it? Destruction. The only thing it's good for. But destruction of what? Well, I'm hoping Wilbrin will be able to tell us. I shouldn't have let him drift away. Shouldn't have let that lot get their claws into him. 
Now more than ever, I need to find him. We need to find him. Mm. He's the only one I might be able to speak to sensibly. Uh... Yeah, whatever. I'd kiss you, but <laughs> neither of us deserve that. Neither of us deserve Thank that. Thank you. I don't really care about talking to him about other stuff, though. So no one else wants to talk. She has nothing to say, I believe. Copper for your thoughts. What's the best way to kill a devil? Yeah, nothing. I mean, I should probably do those conversations to build rapport and whatever, but... Oh god, not this again. Eight, and then... There. I hope that at some point they improve the uh, auto camp, su camp supply select. Okay, so I'm done here. First things first, speak with animals. I'm gonna quick save here, see if I can use this for wisdom. If they fixed it, I doubt they have, but if they have, I just wanna know. They have, good. Look at these numbers. Plus four is all over here, plus sevens on all of these. A plus ten, plus nine, six, six, seven, two, eight, five, four because of this. Well, yeah, four from this, like only like a plus two to acrobatics being my worst. It's so it's just This is entirely what this character was <laughs> the decision was made about. Just having proficiency in almost every skill and I'm gonna get once I event I mean character level 12 is really high but once I'm finally level 12 I'll be level 10 bard which will get me two more points of two more expertises that I could assign to performance I could assign it to persuasion perception I think I already gave it to but like I could get two more Level two more skills with expertise. It's gonna be wonderful. It's gonna be excellent. So today will be a little shorter because I'm just gonna wrap up the Underdark. I'm gonna I'm gonna go here really quick. Once I'm there, there's gonna be nothing there to do. But I'll be back in a moment once I'm there and trying the only thing I can think of to get rid of the mark here now the only things that I could think of were cast this on the off chance that does something it doesn't I was also pick it up in the hopes that that would make it go away but no it didn't and one last shovel which I already tried nothing, nothing. that mark will never go away it's broken so I will just... I also tried light, yeah. I don't know why they ran around instead of jumping to me. But they ran around instead of jumping. But, now it will be time to just go back to the Mykonid the colony. Of what they're saying, at least they're peaceful. I might want to talk to them again for fun, but... Oh, so these nerds. I didn't actually see them here in my previous playthrough because I already... I went back to deliver the head before talking to them and stuff. So I I did this, then came back, and that was good. I'll talk to them in a minute, but I'll deliver the head first. Peace, Brina. Be at home. I've brought you near his head. Pretty messed up. The drow sought to shatter our circle. Now his flesh may feed its growth. In dealing death, 
You have brought this circle life, and thus we name you Life Chanter. I like the Mykonids, they're fun. I'm glad they're in the game. And not as easily missable as the Kuatoa. As our circle grows, so shall your song. Wherever you go, only listen, and you may hear it. Item. We'll be Voice of the circle. And it is... Grant an ally a plus two bonus on persuasion for ten turns on a long rest cooldown. It's so good! I'm not going to use it because it's not that good unless I'm desperate. No need for me to ask how you fared. Some of my kin have already made it here, safe and sound. It's past time we were back in the city. But if you find yourself there, call on us. The Iron Hand Gnomes are good friends to have. What will you do when you return? Like I say, we yeah. Iron Hands are good friends. But bad enemies too. Yeah. Some folk are about to be reminded of that. Uh. Should I talk to these guys? Let's briefly try. You saved my skin, but there's more bastards out there. For every one you kill, paint on me. Very well. That's a lot more bravado than I'd expect. Somehow you look. They're the married so couple. Weird. I'll just talk to this person once and then I'm done. The Mykonids are trying to help, but I keep seeing my friends in Moonrise screaming. I figured there'd be nothing. None of them. Oh, wait. He might. He probably has nothing, but he was separate from the others, so maybe he has a different line. You just can't talk to him. That's easy. Okay. I think I'm basically done. Ah, uh, the bird nest. I was going to say I thought I was basically done, but I need to get to the bird's nest. Um, I know how to get there. Okay. Down and over that way. But first, That's old idiot. check the sales from the two shop keeps. We'll be clearing out soon enough. You come across a noble stock mushroom about. You give it here. I haven't seen it. There must be some noble stock somewhere, but okay, no. Trade is just faster. Bunch of junk to sell. The silver stuff is that bronze goblet was more expensive than the silver stuff. It just seems kind of interesting to me. These I want to keep. Keep the pin. I can sell all of this. You want to keep the the masks. You have no need for the masks. I'm keeping a cup of oil because I have no idea if it has any use ever. Uh, yeah, I don't think I need any of the armor. Does she have bark skin? Not the best. Short bow plus one, light crossbow plus one. It's kind of useful. I mean, that's just two acid, which is like not a terrible thing. It's just a flat bonus, if guaranteed. I'll grab it because I can. Grab that because I can. Clearing poison status more easily is kind of useful. And if I equip it on my current character, I can use that alongside the AoE heal wounds to the AoE mass healing word. And I will clear poison on everybody in the AoE, which is pretty good. Currently, I'm going to give the caustic band to... Does it say weapon attacks? Yeah. I'm gonna put it on her, because it will at least be two damage. Defender of the people. Anyone could equip the jumping ring, I'll give it to him. Because I mean being able to jump further is useful. Having that as an option is Oh, he's gone. Welcome back. 
Have you made any new discoveries? No. Dangerous prospect. Don't care. Okay. I don't need to talk to him. Do you have anything in theory to trade? I enjoy a good bargain. If anything in my private collection is to your liking. Okay. This seems situationally good because it's just immunity to difficult terrain. That seems not great. I think I already have... Ooh. When the wearer gains lightning charges, they also gain three temp hit points. That would be... That would be good on him if he wasn't a fiend, but fiend stuff would override it anyway. I don't know if I have this. Minor elemental I want to have. Even if I already have a copy, it's still nice to have to be able to cast it on other characters. I could buy a bunch of this stuff, but I don't think it's necessary. Missives of Mick Candle Keep. Yeah. Very well. Okay. Sort by latest. So, I have a bunch of gear I can equip to people. This is not good. This is going to go unused. I got those Misty Step boots that I can equip to somebody. Can't be in webbed, entangled, or ensnared, and can't slip on grease or ice. Very good. Yeah, they don't have boots. Featherfall. I'm going to keep. Ah, let's give it to him. Mr. Grace. He loves Mistra. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. And giving them more interesting boots to my character. He he ha ha. Self centered. I don't I'm gonna give it to his inventory in case. Mistra boots. They should have a special effect, I feel. But the pride of the gate. Anyway. So now he has he's immune to the movement decreasing effects of difficult terrain. Carlac likes me the least. I've got a long road ahead. Which is kind of sad, but... Light on my feet. Okay. I also need him ready for you. to give himself mage armor. Bibber bang, bibber bang, bibber bang. Never a dull moment. Okay. I'm gonna say... That's enough of the Underdark. There might be small stuff I missed, but it's not enough of the Underdark. I remembered that I got distracted when I was about to go get the Bird's Nest. But after the Bird's Nest, that I think will be the end of the Underdark. Because I don't think there's anything else obvious that I've missed. Like, I'm going to play through this game again, at probably eventually. Well, not even eventually, like... I imagine once I finish this playthrough, I'm going to start a new playthrough with a different character. Maybe like a monk. Monk, paladin, ranger. One of the like classes that isn't covered by the normal like units. The normal companions. Because honestly, get that out of my way please. Cause like the normal companions are the only ones I use, have used so far. Which in turn means... Okay, I need her to stand where I can actually... Feather fall her. Cause otherwise when I jump down with... Ah, she's gonna jump down, it's fine. Ahead. Come on, jump down. Jump down, please. Come on. Jump down, Carlac. You're incompetent. Okay, so she's back. Like, this in it's entirely possible there's random stuff in various places that I've missed. For me, this is enough of the exploration of the Underdark. It seems to be everything. There might be stuff I missed. That's for future playthroughs, if I play through it again. So, for now, it's Joaquin's Rest. Back above ground. Things I can check. There's a sail dude there. I think I wiped out all the goblins. This is kind of broken. 
Unless she is somewhere. But... I think I'm done with this zone. Or done enough with this zone. I don't think there's anything major that I missed. Moonrise Tower, Cure, Embrace Potential, History of Prince Orpheus, Free the Artist with Baldur's Gate, Baldur's Gate, the next zone, the next zone, later, hers is later, this is later. This really, this is not quite right. Oh, wait, the reason it's not right is because of that. Is this I need to find Damon again. The Grand Duke is for later. Later Frontiers is later. Githyanki. I might actually choose to not go to the crush with Lavelle. I might just leave her at home. Pale Elf, Asterion, nothing has happened with him yet. And if nothing happens at all, that's perfectly fine. But this is the way for now. Because this... Going here and interacting, going through the gate here, doesn't lock you out of anything, as far as I can tell. Whereas, like, this next zone isn't the limited, uh, it, it doesn't transition to the next chapter, I think. I learned recently that apparently if you command Voss to drop his weapon, you can get a weapon that you really shouldn't have. Like, because it apparently has... If you give it to Lazelle, she gets dialogue that she shouldn't have and stuff like that. I'm just going to leave everyone behind right now. I'm just checking here quickly. There should be nothing dangerous. For a hole. Yeah, like this is like, oh, you can't go here. Okay, that means dig with a shovel. Except it's not working. In that it's not saying you can't dig. No use digging here. Okay, there, it worked there. They need to fix that. Though, I mean, it doesn't matter that much if people are playing it multiple times, or if they're willing to scum it like I am. Because it's, it's not like the rewards are actually that important. Yeah, that's it for here. You can use this as a way to get into the goblin camp. I guess I'll clear that section there. And then I'll be done with the first zone. This zone will be done completely. Why can you walk here? And it'll be time to go to the mountain paths. Which, there's not a ton to explore. There's not a ton to explore there, but there is, like, the entire Githyanki crash there, which you can't visit without, you know, visiting it. Walk gouge like it was nothing. Oh, dragon, I think. Bestow curse. Ready and willing. I just want to check very quickly. Yeah, he didn't have one already, so he will be able to learn that in, I think, a few levels. Why is it red? Because I use it? Yeah. I don't really have a lot of spells. Just a potato. Pretty goofy. Yeah, I don't think there's anything over here. No, I did talk to her. It was just a different interaction because Will was in my party. I wonder if... I doubt they would let me. I'm gonna save scum.
basically if you look at jump distances I can jump that far if I triple it I should be able to jump that far but it's not allowed I was gonna say I'm gonna save comment I'm not going to I don't care about wasting this jump spell it's good but I don't really need it ah, I say that I think I might want it if when I'm in the crash, so. Oh, the crash is such a pain. Not the crash, but the area above the crash is a pain. How much farther can I go? It's mostly a pain because there's a sort of quest that is there. Come on, update your map. This is updated to the burned, it being burned. Why is the bridge still there? But, I will go into this before I leave, but this will be the next area that I will explore. Tie up loose ends. I think I've tied up enough. I could check other people, talk to them, whatever. I don't think there's any that I really need to talk to. The druids, maybe. But... This is the area. It's very pretty. And this is the area over here that is important. Moving forward, this character here is insane. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Though kind of fun, it like they're in they're fun, insane. Like they're very driven in a very specific way. But I'll get to the waypoint. Which this is weird. Like. Oh, here's why it's not weird. Because it's here that there's an encounter. So if you go straight down to the right, you deal with all this, and you just continue keeping to the right along here, you don't run into the encounter that's right there. Which is pretty dangerous, I think, if you don't have a uh, source of radiant damage, which I don't really. Like, uh, Spirit Guardians makes that fight significantly easier. I'm going this way briefly before I finish up because it's just another entry point. So I just want to get it mapped out. Yeah, this is... I'll just show it really quick. Give it a shot. This is that place where they were drinking a little bit different, a little bit away from the camp. But while this is traveling, this is where I will... This is pretty much where I'll wrap up for today. I'll wrap up back at the waypoint. And next time I will make my way towards the monastery. Uh... Monastery slash crash. I could bring Lazel. I'm gonna opt not to. I think it would be pretty fun to clear the entire crash before long resting and Lazel complaining. It's also the easiest way for me to justify the Zeth Zeth the Zethisk interaction. Where like it's better to do it with your own character instead of having someone else do it. But with the characters in question, I could, I wouldn't be able to justify, I personally don't think I could justify having the character not let Lazel risk their life. Like, letting her take the risk, fine, do it. But if my character doesn't enjoy traveling with Lazel, it's easy to justify, I'm already here, I have to try, is much easier to justify in my opinion. So... Here is the kind of pretty wrapping up point for today. Have a good day. Bye-bye.